In this short training nugget, I'm going to explain singing props and just quickly cover how you can configure them if they're not pre-configured when you download them and also how to use them. So if we look, I'm going to use this bulb prop here as, as an example. Now, once it is selected and highlighted like this, the part that we're interested in is the faces element here. And if we go to the end, we can click this little button and we can get into the faces configuration. Now I already have uh, it configured in certain areas. So like this, you can see I've got it configured, but I'm going to do it from scratch to just show you how we configure this. So hopefully when you download it, you will get all of the node ranges pre-configured. But if you're building your own prop, this will not be the case. So you will have to do it manually in the way I'm showing you now. So we just click add and I'm just going to call this bulb test. Okay. Now we don't want it as single nodes. We want to change it to node ranges. So the first thing I'm interested in configuring is this face outline. Now the bulb is a special one because this one can be configured with two outlines. So we would have the outline of the bulb, which we may want in, you know, a particular color. And then we want the Edison screw element of the prop in a different color. And this might be in a, a silvery gray color or a gold color to, you know, indicate a metallic effect. So I'm going to show you how to just do the outline of one. So this is face outline. So you can see now we've got a place we can type in here. You could type in the nodes if you knew the node numbers, but that's not likely. So all we do is hold our left mouse button and then we can just drag like this. And you can see now it's highlighted all of these pixels. And I'm just going to go around doing this yeah, so you can do it highlighting like this, or you can double click like this to do sorry, to do single nodes. But it's easier to if you've got space to do them in multiple nodes like this. So you would go through and do the entire outline like this. And then that you can see now all of the nodes have been entered here. So then you would move on to outline two. Outline two would be nice and easy because we can just literally just grab the all nodes and you can see they're lit. If you need to remove any nodes, if you hold the shift key and double click, you can see it turns the node off. Okay, or hold the shift key and drag and we can turn all the nodes off as well. Okay, but uh, I'm just going to turn the mic on. Okay. Now, regarding the mouth, if you look here, there's small images that show what the mouth shape should be like. So you can see this is quite a wide mouth shape. Uh, this one is wider again. And the letters here depict the letters of the phonemes that, you know, the mouth shape is representing. So this is A and I. So when you say things like A, or indigo for the eye. This is E, so you can see when you, if you, with me as you're listening to this, if you say the word E, you'll notice that your mouth spreads out like this. And then, you know, you've got ETC, which is a pursed thing. You've got Fs, so this is F and V, and you notice that your mouth closes. And all you would do, you would choose the appropriate nodes to make these mouth shapes also. Now I'm not going to go through all of those. I'm going to go to one that I've already made. So I've got this one here called Upright Bulb Blue. Now I can create as many as these as I want to. And I've created one here that will automatically make this bulb element blue. And you can see there. 
and I've done that by ticking this box called force custom colors now I don't use this very often because I like the flexibility in the sequence to configure but it, it can be nice if you just want if you if you use a certain color uh, of outlines continually you can have a, a force custom color and you can see here I've got blue for the outline I've got a gold color for the Edison screw and then I've got a pink for the mouth and then the eyes just the default white okay so just remember that one and then I've got one here upright custom and you can see I've got this untick now so it's completely blank so now we have all this configured let's look at how we use these so just click cancel I don't need to make changes and I'm going to go to a sequence so I'll just open a, a pre-done sequence so that I've already got a lyric track here we go let's go this one will do I'm just going to select my singing elements so you can see here I've already got these bulbs on here so let's look at the faces effect yeah so all I would have done is dropped a faces effect on and now you can see here the face definition I have selected is upright bulb blue so automatically it's ignoring this palette because I had force custom colors force custom colors enabled so you can see it's chosen all of those colors but like I said sometimes I want the flexibility so if I change this to my upright bulb, what I've called custom, bang, for some reason it's all gone red. And that is because if we look here, I've only got two colors selected. Now, there are four colors needed for this particular prop. There's the mouth shape. So if I go first and I change this color to pink, okay it all goes pink next is the eyes I'm going to change the eyes to white and enable next is the outline of the bulb itself so I'm going to make this a green bulb and then the last one is the color of the Edison screw which is outline 2 and I'm going to make this orange and there you go now if I want to change the color of this bulb at any time I just click on the color and I think okay I want it to be a purple bulb and there you go so that's how you customize the colors so let's just go down the final part of the singing face once you drop the effect on you must select the appropriate timing track unless you manually want to force a mouse shape so I can force an open mouse shape there I can force the all of these different mouse shapes and you can use this for testing as well to make sure you're happy with the, the mouse shapes and make sure you've not missed any nodes but normally you're going to choose a timing track yeah I've got lyrics lead and lyrics backing and I'm using the lyrics backing for this particular singing prop moving down eyes auto yeah if we looked in our layout and we looked at that faces element you can see that in the node range we specified eyes open like this and eyes close so going back to the sequencer when we have this ticked it will automatically blink the eyes at a random time so you don't have to manually do it you could you could force it as well we could just select uh, the prop and we could force the eyes closed like this and they'll be open and closed at all times but generally you'll be using auto and it will just blink randomly show outline if we turn that off that's if we just want to use the eyes and the mouth element okay suppress when not singing I don't like this uh, but it's, you know it's your choice and what will happen is when there's a gap like this in the singing the entire prop will be disabled and the lights will go off 
if you select si uh, suppressed when not singing okay and there you go so i hope you found that useful and uh, hopefully hopefully that explains how you set up the nodes of a singing prop until next time see you later